Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I'm back with the other video. Today I'm going to talk about that creating the Cloud SQL user in Terraform and connect the Cloud GCP Cloud SQL Postgres from local PSQL. In this video, it is a continuation for my previous video. If you are not watching my previous video, please watch it. Here I am providing the steps so we can see one by one. The first one is that we are creating that database user as well as database on GCP via Terraform. I provide the source code from my repository. You can download from any time. Next one is that installing the PSQL package on local computer. So in my case, I'm already installed the package. So here I'm providing that the URL for that PSQL. So you can download from this URL and installing with your local PC. Next one is that connecting to the database instance from PSQL CLI. So here I am providing the command line. So we can use this command to connect with your Postgres SQL. We are at that uh, GCP console. So already I am provisioning that uh, Post SQL. So I am just I am clicking this one instant ID. So we can cross verify that the user. So there is a no user is there apart from that Postgres. So also we can cross verify with the database. So similar like that. So we will be moving to that Visual Studio code. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. So as I said earlier, uh, this is a continuation from my previous video. The same code only I am using here. But uh, just I am adding the one of the file called username underscore password tf file. Now we can see this Terraform resource one by one. The first resource is the random streams. Here I am generating that uh, file letter length of characters. Uh, here I am defining with that override special character. So this one of the characters is coming with the here. Next resource is that Google SQL user. So I am creating the user called root. Here I am pointed out my Postgres. So this is my primary I already created that instant ID I have to define. Then I am defining with that password so that using the random strings I am calling from here the user. So I am allocating that user password as well as in the same resource itself. Next resource is the Google SQL database. Here I am trying to create with the root database name. So we will be moving to the terminal to executing this operations. Just I am executing the terraform plan command to validate the syntax. Yeah, you can see the thing the three resource going to add there is a no destroyed or no changes also so i'm directly i'm applying the terraform apply command it asking the user input i'm providing the s you can see here that username and database created successfully just you can scroll up above that uh, terminal output this is uh, my random stream generated with that uh, password we will be moving to that uh, gcp console to cross verify that username and database created or not so i am at that gcp console page i am going to the user section the root user is created also i can cross verify that the database your yeah, database also root also created so then I am going back to that overview page. If you scroll down below, I can copy the public IP address. Now I am moving to that PSQL CLI terminal. So we are at that PSQL ter terminal page. I am going to that the exiting installation path. I am providing the PSQL hyphen exe. Then I can uh, enter that hyphen h this is a host name then I, I copied that uh, the public IP address of that Postgres then I use that iPhone hyphen u for username and uh, I am typing that root is a username this time enter it yeah, it is asking the passwords so then I am moving to that Visual Studio code here I am copying the password then I am going back to the PSQL terminal this time enter it Yeah, I'm now successfully connected. Just I'm elaborating the screen. Here I'm just I'm slash l I'm enter the command. It will be listing that database. Yes, it's perfectly working on it. 
yeah i hope this video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching bye